So we are just getting our visa for Azerbaijan. And we just realized actually that we have to apply online. So apparently it takes three business days. So should be okay. Okay, da, 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 da. click the approve button. It's $52 for both of us. It's not so bad. So now it's on to trying to get Bumblebee on a boat over to Azerbaijan. So we found a company on iOverlanda that are shipping motorcycles for something like 100, 110 US dollars, which is a pretty good price. So we're just gonna buy some tickets now for later this week. <laughs> Good morning guys, welcome back to our Guinness World Record attempt to become the youngest pair to circumnavigate the globe by motorcycle. We are here in the city of Aktau in Kazakhstan, next to the Caspian Sea. And we had a really productive day yesterday. We pretty much organized everything we had to organize. So we applied for our visas for Azerbaijan. We booked our flights to Azerbaijan and we booked the ferry in for Bumblebee to Azerbaijan. Yes, normally we would just be taking a ferry with Bumblebee. Bumblebee, but at the moment all land borders into Azerbaijan are closed so the only way we can do it is to ship Bumblebee across the Caspian Sea and then we have to fly over and pick Bumblebee up on the other side. So it's pretty awesome because on iOverlander we managed to find a company called the Azerbaijan Caspian Shipping Company and they are based just 50 miles outside of Aktau so that's where we're going to be heading this morning. It's about an hour and a quarter to get there and we still have to do a lot of paperwork when we get there with these guys it's already 10 o'clock so better hit the road let's go there we go ready to rock and roll totally rock and roll oh Wow, that was actually pretty easy to organize. So happy about that. Yeah, everything in one afternoon, hey? Yeah. Went online, was like, okay, Azerbaijan visa is an e-visa online, no problem. Apply, pay, done. And then I'm really thankful for this iOverlander entry, which basically explained exactly what you had to do. It was like, buy tickets at the website here, go to the ferry port and you're good to go. This is our final hurdle to overcome on this journey, getting Bumblebee across the Caspian Sea, because once we get to the other side of the Caspian Sea, that's it. No more shipping, no more flying. You know, all we have to do is just ride. Yeah. Take a few ferries, yes, but ferries with the bike. Fun ferries. Exactly. Honestly, if you'd asked me at the beginning of the journey, I would not have known that actually shipping would have been the hardest part of this entire journey. The organization required and like the logistics yeah. to get us and Bumblebee around the world is yeah. just crazy. It's not easy. It's not easy. A mm -hmm. lot of customs, a lot of companies to deal with. And we got to do that for the last time today. So it's pretty much just one more sea crossing and then we're just going to be riding with Bumblebee all the way back to England, which is amazing and I can't wait. All right, here we are arriving in the town of Kurik, which is the closest town to the ferry port. And we're just going to do one last fuel up here in Kazakhstan, take advantage of that super cheap fuel because I don't know how it's going to be in Azerbaijan. <laughs> 200 tenge per litre, which is like 30 pence. 30 pence. Our last camels here in Kazakhstan. Maybe we can get a lift with the camels. What, back to Aktau? <laughs> yeah. Hello, guys. Hello. Oh, I'm going to miss the camels. Me too. Our last mile riding here in Kazakhstan and I can tell you it looks exactly the same as the first mile did. It's just flat desert and camels 
and it's been that way since we arrived in Semi six weeks ago. Wow, has it been six weeks since we arrived in Semi? Is it? I think so. Wow, the time is flying, hey? Yeah, and in no time we're going to be back home. But anyway, first we've got to overcome this hurdle right in front of us. This is the port of Kurik, where hopefully we're going to get Bumblebee ready to go on a boat trip. So we've got to find Asco, the Azerbaijan Caspian Shipping Company. Okay, let's see. Let's just read this thing here. What's that? <coughs> Parking? Nope. I think it's down here something. This is, this the, is the passenger okay. checkpoint. Okay. Okay, maybe we will ask this fella. Okay. Uh, Asco Shipping. This way. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Export checkpoint. Current port. Okay. Yeah, I guess we have to go in the port. Police. Should we just park up? Yeah. For a second. Yeah. And then we'll go talk to them, shall we? So I've spoken to the guys at the ferry port and they've logged me in on the system and everything's good but they said that the next ferry is not going to arrive until tomorrow evening. So basically they said we have to go back to Aktau and he's going to call us when the ferry is coming and then we can come, we can do the paperwork, Bumblebee goes on the ferry. So that's it then, back to Aktau I guess. That's funny, hey? Yeah, I mean, you have to basically come all the way here just to get your name on the list ready to take the boat but then if there isn't a boat here then they just like tell you to go yeah <laughs> he was just like yep okay you're logged on the system okay we'll call you when the boat arrives and you can come and take it yeah nothing today and i was like do you know like do you have an estimation for me of what time the boat will arrive tomorrow and he's like maybe 9 10 11 12 p.m so basically like late late tomorrow night so i guess it's a pretty relaxed schedule here to be honest and and not a very accurate schedule to... <laughs> so anyway we'll go back to aktal yeah okay so i guess catch you tomorrow guys later that same evening we just got the message that i can go to the port already now i say i because they said only one person can go to the port and go through all of the security and customs process that they need to do so Basically, that means that I have to go alone and Lavi gets to chill here. Or maybe mm -hmm. you can go and I stay <laughs> here and go to bed. <laughs> so it's currently quarter to eight and they actually said that I don't need to be there until 10. But um, I thought I would ride before it gets dark. So I'll be there pretty much just after sunset about 8.45. And then I've got about an hour and 15 to wait until we can start the process. <laughs> Okay, bye bye! Alright, so here I'm going on my own. So actually, they said that the ferry doesn't arrive until 4 in the morning, but I'm really hoping that once I do the process and get everything sorted, that I can actually just leave the bike there and basically take a taxi back to the city. So with any luck, I might be back in Aktau by midnight. But if I'm not lucky, it's going to be a pretty uncomfortable night. So anyway, 53 miles, the GPS is estimating one hour and seven minutes, and I've got nobody to talk to on the intercom. Hmm. Look at the size of that moon over there. It's a yellow moon evening. So here we go, back at the port. And this time, 
there's a lot more trucks around which is a good sign that means that maybe there is a boat to catch after all So I've just picked up the paperwork from this building in front and then they said I could go. I don't really know where to go, but I can see all of these trucks behind me are waiting in front of this gate. So I'm guessing that these guys are going on the same boat as Bumblebee. So I think I'm just going to go to the front here and see what's going on. Hello. Uh, hello. Ah, oh, no, no camera. Okay, so customs is all done. All the check-in is done. Everything's done, basically. So then I asked the guy, I said, okay, what do I do now? And he said, oh, sleep, sleep. I was like, sleep? What do you mean sleep? And then using Google Translate, he basically told me the ferry will arrive between four and five tomorrow morning. And I was like, okay, so can I just leave the bike here and somebody puts it on the ferry? He says, no, no, we have no people here at the port who can do that. So basically you have to wait. And when the ferry arrives, you have to load it on yourself. So it's currently 10 p.m. That means I have now about six hours to wait here basically wait for this ferry to arrive so anyway I'm gonna go and get changed I'm gonna sort of strap everything to the bike ready to go and then I don't know just wait around I guess there we go everything's been wrapped up everything's been taped up I'm good to just ride the bike on and just walk off the ferry and hopefully some of this gear will be here on the other side when we go to collect it. Look. Should be all right. Bye Bumblebee. See you in the morning. So now I'm gonna go back to the waiting room place. See if they've got somewhere that serves some coffee. The guy just over there from Turkey, he just bought my coffee for me. <laughs> So it's 1 a.m. now, and uh, <clears throat> I just set up my sleeping bag and blow up pillow. And I think I'm just gonna lie down on these chairs for a little bit. Oh, it's not so bad, is it? <sighs> Hopefully, if I do sleep, somebody will wake me up when the ferry arrives. Good night. So it's currently 5 a.m. and I just woke up. I just went over to the desk because I was like, is the ferry going to be arriving soon? The guy said, still maybe one hour more. But then he told me that first we have to wait for everybody to unload and then the trucks are going to start loading and then I'll be loading. So he said, oh, don't worry, just relax because you won't be loading until probably 7 or 8 a.m. There's still probably three hours more. So I'm gonna see if I can go back to sleep. God, it's bright out here now. So, I have been called. Yes. So it's currently eight o'clock. Now they want me to ride the bike over to the border control and um, I have to get some additional checks on the bike. The ferry is here. They've unloaded the trucks and now they're getting ready to load on everything from this side onto the ferry. So maybe, maybe, maybe we're nearly ready to go on. Now we're making progress. I have all the stamps I need. Bumblebee's been thoroughly checked by the military and has been approved, ready to go. So now it's back to the waiting room and uh, waiting until they call me to board. Oh. 
Oh my God, guys, you won't believe it, but I've actually been called to ride Bumblebee onto the ferry. Yes! It's nearly 11 o'clock now, well and truly into the next day. The guy just came up to me and was just like, you go, you go ferry, you go ferry. I was like, yes, I'm gonna go right now. Let's get Bumblebee to Azerbaijan. Oh yes, there she is, strapped up in the light of day. Still looks good. I don't exactly know where to ride, but I'm gonna get on the bike, go towards the sea. Socks and sandals all the way. So there we go. It only took two visits to the port and then 27 hours waiting, but Bumblebee is on a boat headed to Azerbaijan. And I have to find a way to get back to Aktau. I'm still 55 miles from the city, so <laughs> hopefully I can get a taxi. How do I get out of here? 